My name is CP November. I'm a professional ballet dancer with the National Ballet of Canada. I was born in South Africa, Zolani, about two hours away from Cape Town. And uh, I started doing uh, street dancing. It wasn't until a little bit later that I was aware and interested in doing ballet. Dancing was just something I did for fun. It was something that the com everyone in the community did. And uh, there was never really a, a hope or dream to make it as a professional ballet dancer. When I was in grade six and seven, every day, two hour ballet class. And so over the years, it's been hours and hours and hours and hours of just the same thing. And then when you're a professional dancer, you also spend hours and hours and hours doing the exact same movements every day to start your day. And so it becomes second nature so that you don't have to think about it anymore. And so that's the hardest thing, just the body pushing and pushing and pushing when you don't want it to. <laughs> yeah. Being a professional now, it's different. Sometimes you feel horrible on stage because there's so much pressure to to deliver and, and to live up to a certain level of expectations. But at the end of the day, really, I just feel it's joy. The move I'm going to be showing you today is called Atre Chassis. Right now, I'm preparing to do a role in The Sleeping Beauty, Bluebird. And it's going to be my first major role. And the whole role is around beats, which is what they're called. We call them beats for short, but it's Atre Chassis. And there's a lot of them in this ballet. And so it's something that I've had to prepare myself. <laughs> starting from a fifth position. And all it is is a fifth position and a second position. So the legs, as I jump up, one, open my legs, close them and cross them, two, three, four, five, six, as I go down, and then I land back in fifth. You have to get a lot of air time, and you have to really use your inner thighs, and you have to make it look clear. That's the hardest thing, is making it clear that there's six movements in the step. A lot of street dance is around improvisation, whereas ballet, you can't be different. There is no room to be other. But at the end of the day, even though it was supposed to be the same, we interpret sameness differently. And so naturally, one's personality comes through when dancing. <laughs> 